Welcome to the iHistory Channel, where we dive into the depths of our world's most intriguing topics. Today, we're exploring the global warming controversy. In the vast expanse of our universe, among the millions of celestial bodies, the Earth stands as a unique testament to life. Our planet is a complex and dynamic system, teeming with interactions that are intricate and ceaselessly changing. Yet in recent years, a contentious debate has emerged, casting a shadow over our understanding of this delicate balance. The subject of contention, global warming, a movement has risen fueled by political and sociological motivations, propagating the narrative that human activities are the primary drivers of climate change. This notion, while seemingly plausible, has led many to form judgments that may not entirely align with our planet's true reality. The belief that our daily habits, industrial practices and lifestyle choices are drastically altering the Earth's climate has gained traction. It has become a widely accepted truth, often unchallenged and rarely questioned. However, is it possible that we've been led astray? Could we have been manipulated into accepting a distorted perspective of our influence on this planet? Our ability to change the climate, while not entirely impossible, may not be as influential as we've been led to believe. The Earth's climate is a result of various factors, many of which operate on scales far beyond human control. Are we then just ordinary beings caught in the vortex of a controversy larger than ourselves? Or could it be that we've overlooked key elements in this debate? Perhaps we've forgotten to consider that the only driving force for any radical change on Earth must happen and only happens for three plausible causes. The first is our Sun, a constant companion whose fluctuations have profound impacts on our climate. The second is the changes in our own planet, which are constant and permanent, shaping the Earth's climate over millions of years. And the third is the potential for gigantic atomic explosions, a unique way for modern man to unleash catastrophic change. But what if we told you there are three plausible causes for radical change on Earth and they might not be what you think? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this controversy and reveal the true forces that shape our world. First, let's look towards the sky, our sun, a celestial body of immense power and influence. Now imagine a world without the sun, impossible, right? Our very existence is intertwined with this fiery ball of gas, roiling and churning 93 million miles away. It's the sun that gives us our days and our seasons. It's the sun that powers the photosynthesis in plants, the very process that provides the oxygen we breathe. But the sun does more than just light and warm our world. It plays a significant role in shaping our climate. The sun's energy output is not constant. It has cycles. The most well-known of these is the 11-year solar cycle, where the sun's magnetic field flips, causing fluctuations in solar radiation. These solar cycles lead to variations in the amount of solar energy that reaches Earth. When solar activity is high, the Earth receives slightly more solar energy and tends to warm. Conversely, when solar activity is low, the Earth receives slightly less energy and tends to cool. One example of this is the so-called Little Ice Age, a period between the 14th and 19th centuries when solar activity was unusually low. During this time, winters were harsher and longer and summers were cooler. However, it's important to note that while the sun's cycles have an impact on our climate, they're not the only factor. Other elements, such as volcanic activity and greenhouse gases, also play a part. But today we're focusing on our constant companion, the sun. Another way the sun influences our climate is through solar radiation. Solar radiation is the primary source of Earth's heat. Variations in solar radiation can, therefore, cause changes in the Earth's climate. But here's the thing. Despite these variations, the total amount of solar energy reaching Earth has remained relatively stable over the past few thousand years. Studies show that since the late 17th century, solar brightness has increased only slightly. This slight increase is not enough to account for the current global warming trend. So, what does this all mean? It means that while the sun undeniably influences our climate, it's not solely responsible for the significant changes we're experiencing. To put it simply, blaming the sun for all our climate woes is like blaming the oven for a burnt cake. Yes, the oven provides the heat, but the outcome also depends on other factors, like the ingredients used, the baking time, and the skill of the baker. So, the sun plays a significant role, but it's not the only factor causing radical changes on Earth. Let's not forget this as we continue our exploration of the forces that shape our planet. Our Earth is not a static blue marble, but a dynamic, ever-changing entity. 
Imagine a world perpetually in motion. In the grand scheme of things, our planet is like an artist, constantly reshaping and reimagining its canvas. The Earth's surface is continually shifting, with the continents drifting apart and converging in a slow dance that spans millions of years. This process, known as plate tectonics, is responsible for the creation of mountains, the formation of new land and the birth of oceans. It's a testament to the relentless and transformative power of our planet. Volcanic activity, a product of this tectonic movement, is another significant player in the Earth's dynamic narrative. It's easy to see volcanoes as destructive forces and indeed their eruptions can be catastrophic. However, they also play a vital role in the Earth's carbon cycle. Volcanoes release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, a greenhouse gas that contributes to the warming of our planet. But they also produce particles and gases that can cool the Earth by reflecting sunlight back into space. It's a delicate balance, a dance of fire and ice that we're still trying to fully understand. And let's not forget the oceans, those vast and mysterious bodies of water covering more than 70% of our planet's surface. Their currents act like a global conveyor belt, moving heat around the Earth and playing a crucial role in regulating our climate. The Gulf Stream, for instance, carries warm water from the Gulf of Mexico up to Western Europe, giving it a milder climate than other regions at the same latitude. If these currents were to change, the consequences for our climate could be significant. Now, it's important to note that these natural processes can lead to substantial climate variations. They've done so in the past, long before humans were around to influence the climate. Ice ages and warm periods have come and gone, driven by factors like volcanic activity, changes in the Earth's orbit and shifts in ocean currents. These shifts are part of the Earth's natural rhythm, its ebb and flow. They remind us that our planet is not a passive observer in the cosmic theatre, but an active performer, constantly changing and adapting. And while it's true that these natural processes can cause climate change, they're not the only factors at play. We've looked at the sun, our fiery companion, and the dynamic nature of our own planet. We've seen how they can influence the climate in ways that are often complex and intertwined. But there's one more factor we should consider, a wild card of sorts. And that, my friends, is humankind. Our planet is constantly evolving, but there's one more factor we should consider. Scene script. Atomic explosions a chilling testament to human ingenuity and power. Let's delve into the realm of atomic explosions, a surreal demonstration of the power that humans can wield, yet also a stark reminder of our ability to bring about cataclysmic change. You see, while our daily activities may not have the capacity to drastically alter our planet's climate, our atomic capabilities certainly do. When we think of atomic explosions, we often picture a mushroom cloud and the resulting devastation, but few of us consider the climatic implications of such an event. Let's shed some light on this matter. An atomic explosion doesn't just wreak havoc on the immediate vicinity, it also sends a massive amount of dust and debris into the atmosphere. This can lead to what is known as a nuclear winter. Just like a volcanic eruption, the dust and debris from an atomic explosion could block sunlight, causing temperatures to plummet worldwide. This could potentially lead to a global cooling effect, quite contrary to the warming trends we're currently experiencing. This isn't mere speculation. Scientific research has backed up this theory. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research in 2023 suggested that even a small nuclear war could result in a significant drop in global temperatures for several years. In addition, atomic explosions also release vast amounts of radiation which can have long-lasting effects on the environment and climate. The radiation can damage the ozone layer that protects us from harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. This could lead to increased levels of ultraviolet radiation reaching the Earth's surface, causing a myriad of environmental and health issues. Now, let's be clear. We're not suggesting that atomic explosions are a solution to global warming. Far from it. They represent one of the few instances where human activity could cause significant climate change. But these changes would be catastrophic and devastating, not something to aspire to. What we're trying to highlight here is the scale of impact necessary to cause radical changes in our planet's climate. It's not our daily commute or our love for steak that's causing the Earth's climate 
to alter at an alarming rate. No, it would take something as extreme as an atomic explosion to do that. And yet it's important to remember that our actions do have consequences, even if they're not as dramatic as a nuclear explosion. We have a responsibility to our planet to ensure we're not contributing to its destruction in our own small ways. So, while we may not be causing global warming, we should still strive to be mindful of our actions and their potential impact on our environment. These are the three plausible causes of radical change on Earth, but what does this mean for the global warming controversy? The answer to that, dear listeners, is a story for another day. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep seeking the truth. Armed with this knowledge, let's return to the global warming controversy. We've journeyed through the sun's influence on our planet, the Earth's own dynamic nature, and the potential impact of atomic explosions. Now it's time to re-evaluate the controversy around global warming in this new light. The notion that human activities are the sole cause of climate change is a perspective that has been widely accepted and propagated. Yet it's crucial to remember that our planet's climate is influenced by a multitude of factors, many of which are beyond our control. The sun's activity, Earth's constant changes, and even the potential for atomic explosions, as we've discussed, all play significant roles. Climate change is indeed a reality, but attributing it solely to human actions oversimplifies a complex issue. It's akin to blaming a single ingredient for the taste of an intricate dish. It disregards the role of other ingredients and the chef's skill in blending them harmoniously. Global warming is a topic that has been steeped in politics and societal motivations, leading to a distorted view of the issue. It's easy to point fingers and lay blame, but real understanding requires us to delve deeper, to question the information presented to us, and to critically analyze the sources of that information. Are we being presented with the complete picture or are we seeing a version tinted by political or societal lenses? Is our view skewed by the desire to find a simple, single cause rather than acknowledging the complexity of the issue? These are the questions we need to ask ourselves. It's not about denying the existence of climate change or absolving humanity of any responsibility. It's about striving for a nuanced understanding of our world, recognizing the intricate dance of natural and human factors that shape it. As we navigate through the sea of information in our digital age, let's not forget to employ our most potent tool, our ability to question and critically think. Remember, understanding our world requires a healthy dose of curiosity and a willingness to question. We've journeyed through a world of science, controversy and discovery. We've explored the vast reaches of our sun's influence, the ever-changing dynamism of our planet and the power of human-induced atomic explosions. We've navigated the murky waters of the global warming controversy and we've learned that it's not as straightforward as it might seem. We've learned that our understanding of the world and the universe around us is constantly evolving and that it's up to us to stay informed, to question and to keep learning. The world is a complex place and issues like climate change are multifaceted and intricate. It's not enough to accept the headlines at face value. It's not enough to nod along with the majority. We must delve deeper. We must strive to understand the science behind the statements, the motivations behind the movements. We must remember that our planet, our home, is a dynamic entity affected by a multitude of factors. We must remember that we as humans hold a great deal of power, but we are not the sole architects of our world's future. So I urge you continue this journey of discovery. Don't stop at this video. Read research question, engage in discussions, foster debates, keep that spark of curiosity alive. Remember, knowledge is power and scientific literacy is the key to unlocking that power. You've taken the first step by watching this video. Now take the next. Subscribe to the iHistory channel, like this video and share it with others. Spread the knowledge, foster the discussions and encourage the curiosity. Let's create a community of enlightened thinkers ready to face the challenges of our world. And don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss our next journey of discovery. Together we can delve into the mysteries of our world and our universe. Together we can foster understanding, encourage curiosity and inspire change. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the iHistory channel. Like and share. Don't forget to activate the notification bell. Keep questioning, keep discovering.